building quick estimates using SEER for software. Welcome and thank you for your time. At Galarath, we specialize in estimation and our products are used by companies large and small all around the world. For this presentation, we'll be discussing SEER for software. Building a SEER estimate is as easy as one, two, three. One, describe the project using knowledge bases. Two, add sizing information. Three, well, that's it. You have an estimate. Now you can perform trade-off analysis or plot your estimate against historical data or even convert your estimate to a Microsoft project plan. For this estimate, let's assume we are building a brand new customer web portal from scratch. The portal will have two or three interactive screens that prompts and confirms input from the user using pick lists and lookup tables that are new to our business. It will validate the user password and update a central database with the input data. Then send an email to the user summarizing the visit to the portal. The team will use Agile for the very first time. However, the CIO wants the group to follow best practices where possible. That's it. This is everything we need for the estimate. So let's get started. This is the native SEER for Software user interface. From this screen, you can create a brand new project, load an existing estimate, or even create a project from a predetermined scenario. For this lesson, we'll be using the Project Assistant. In a description screen, we'll just simply call this a web portal. Now we need to choose our origin or acquisition method knowledge base. This is going to be a brand new development. I'll click the next button and we're presenting with the sizing screen. We could use traditional lines of code or one of the function based approaches. I'm going to use one of my favorites called function based sizing. We're going to be using two or three input screens. I'll just assume there'll be two interact inputs for each screen for a total of six. We're going to have screen reports. So I'll enter one for each of the screens. So I will select one media output. In the request response area, I will enter three. Each screen will have some context sensitive help available. We will also need new database tables. I'll just assume two. And let's go ahead and enter a couple new reference data tables for our pick list. That's it. I've now sized my software estimate. I can click OK to continue. Now that we've sized the software, we can use the next three knowledge bases to classify our software. For the operating environment or the platform where we'll be building the software. For this estimate, let's use web-based development. For the type of application, let's just assume customer relationship management tool. For the standard or quality target, choose commercial high. I'll click Next, and now we're on the development screen. Under the development process, we can select Agile Novice. And for the language, let's just assume we'll be using some type of fourth generation languages. I'll click Next. Now we can identify any risks that we understand around our requirements volatility. We also have the opportunity to qualify the risk tolerance that we want to apply to the estimate. And I'd like to use a confidence value of around 80%. I'll click Next. On the staffing screen, you can see that we can identify any specific staffing constraints or identify how we're going to be ramping up our project. I'll leave these at the default. And finally, on the summary screen, I have the opportunity to insert another item into my estimate if I desire. But let's just go ahead and click the Finish button and see what we've come up with for a web portal application. The development schedule is estimated to be approximately eight months with a total effort hours of around 1,900 hours. When we used our function-based sizing, that generated a function point count estimate of approximately 121 function points. And we wanted to be very conservative in this estimate. So our effort and schedule probability reflect the 80% confidence factor. If we look at our activity report, we can see that the numbers reflect a full life cycle development project. Well, that's all there is to it. As easy as one, two, three. Additionally, the availability of reports and charts will help form a basis of your estimate. Thank you for your time today. We hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Or for further information on all Galareth products, please contact us at info at or visit us on our website, www.galareth.com. And thank you.